All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of One More Bottle. In this episode, we decided to do a list of what the Reddit article that was basically, if you only need five bottles of bourbon. So we decided to put a list together based on bourbons that we actually have in our collection. Yes, and uh, di five different categories from daily drinker to cheap mixer, what have you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through Reddit's list of these five bourbons based on a particular category. And I picked out five that I would take as my, if I can only have five, you chose five chose that five. you could have as your yeah. own. And we're gonna share those with you. This is based on right here, right now, where we're at in our journey. So first category, April, is a daily drinker. This is a bourbon that you go to on a daily basis, a bourbon that you actually enjoy to drink. Yeah, so if it's a daily drinker, it can't be a very expensive bottle. It oh. can't be hard to find. It's going to be something that you enjoy very much. So it's just one of those ones like you go, you know, you're driving home on a Friday or Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday Wednesday, who Thursday, knows. Who knows? Any day you're of the like, week. I'm going to stop by, by the liquor store and I'm going to grab a bottle. I'm, here's my good go-to. That's it. Yeah, so it has to be cheap. Something that you can actually afford to I drink. I would say cheap. Well, I mean, it's affordable. 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 <laughs> For me, it's got to be cheap because if I'm, you know, if I'm drinking it, I don't. Affordable wanna... to drink daily. It's got to be affordable to drink daily, and it has to actually taste good because there's some affordable bourbons that don't taste good, and you're not going to enjoy as a daily drinker. So but there are some cheap bourbons that taste really good. There are, <laughs> and those could be your daily drinker. Absolutely. So here is our my so mine mine that I go to. And this is actually right now my definitely go to daily drinker, and that is Wild Turkey 101. It's a good one. It is a good one. At a 750 liter in our area, I can pick this up for $22. And that's an affordable range for me that I can definitely, I don't feel like, oh, I got to go work a second job to drink this on a daily basis. <laughs> Definitely not. And it actually tastes amazing. And yeah. in blinds, does amazingly well. Does amazingly. And, you know, probably I would say milliliter for milliliter, this is the best bargain it's, in yeah, bourbon. It is. So what do you Wanna got for your bargain. daily drinker? My daily drinker. You can tell by the size of it. Oh, it's a 1792 She goes for the 1.75. <laughs> so I do have the smaller in this one too, but this is my uh, daily drinker because it is affordable. Uh, we can get the 750 milliliter for around 25 to 29 yep. in our area, depending on where we go. Um, this one costs around 50. The, uh, somewhere the big, in there, the big I think daddy so. costs around 50 maybe a little bit over but this one you know it's just it's affordable it's readily available anywhere you go you can get it um and very time, delicious very delicious every time you pour it for me i'm like wow that tastes great what would you pour me and i found out 1792 yeah. and it always gets me because this doesn't do good in blinds, and I just don't understand it. So By itself, it's amazing, but up against <laughs> other bourbons, it just doesn't win. Yeah, I can definitely see why it's your daily drinker. Yeah, definitely, and I love the bottle, too. I mean... It's a beautiful bottle. This your is bottle like is prettier pretty than mine. You know, gotta have a pretty bottle. <laughs> All right, so the number two category on our list is impress your guests. Now... April, this is a fancy, but not too fancy not too of a bottle. Fancy. Now, this is a bourbon that you would share with your friends that mm -hmm. actually enjoy bourbon. So like, yes. you know, Jim comes over and Jim likes bourbon and Jim appreciates bourbon. This is a bottle that you might pull out for Jim. Now, when Tom comes over, you're probably not bringing this out for Tom because Tom would rather just you know, go down with a little bit of vodka shots or something. Yeah, or Jane who mixes it, so it with Diet Coke. Oh, and definitely. Gets heart palpitations. So this, so this is that bottle that you're going to share with your friends that imp enjoy bourbon. Enjoy so what, bourbon. what do you got for yours? Mine is the Knob Creek Single Barrel. Mm. Um, so we've very tasty. 
the regular Knob Creek for a while now. Oh yeah, love it. Um, got this about a month ago, something we, like that. And yes. wow, it was really good. It was like the regular Knob Creek with the flavor kicked up a couple notches. And actually we like this better than the 12 year. We did like this better than the 12 year. So uh, this one's a little bit higher proof. Um, but the flavor is just so explosive yeah. and it's a full mouthfeel. It's just really, I mean, really good. You can tell, <laughs> like we actually like that bottle a lot. We've dipped into this one since we got yeah, it. Yeah, Tom it's may not delicious. have enough. Is it Tom or Jim? I can't even remember who it is. But anyhow, they may not have enough when they do come over. So this one we uh, got for about 65 Somewhere right in somewhere there. around there. But just depending on where you get it, it's going to be in that range. So, you know, it's nice, but it's not like, you know, the super fancy. Not really hard to get. Although this one is a little bit harder to find than the regular. Yeah, especially here in Texas. We don't see it a mm -hmm. lot. And what do you have? So for mine, my fancy but not too fancy to impress my guests is Barrel Bourbon Batch 33. Now, I will tell you, I have tried a lot of bourbons. When we tried this for the first time, I literally was like, took my sip and I was like, wow. Mm -hmm. Like, I was, it's there was really like good. flavor going all this way. And I was blown away by this bottle. Mine, now we tried this the same night we tried uh, Penelope Toasted for the first mm -hmm. time. Loved Penelope Toasted. Both really good. But this bottle, Barrel Barrel Batch 33, absolutely blew me away. I mean, this is about an 84, 85-ish dollar bottle of bourbon. So it is a little more on the upper pricey scale. This is not something that I drink on a daily. I would love <laughs> to drink this on a daily. Um, but it is a but it is something that I would impress my guests over. Someone that comes over to the house that really actually loves bourbon, mm -hmm. I would invite them and say, "Hey, let me give you something to try that you're gonna, you know, you're gonna fall in love with after this." So this would be my <clears throat> impress my guests. Fancy but not, not too, too fancy. fancy. Category three is a cheap mixer. A cheap mixer. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a cheap mixer is also a bourbon that you're going to give that friend of yours, Tammy or whoever she was. Damn. I, if you're Tammy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but you just come up with names when you're saying this. And, uh, but anyhow, you know, she wants to mix it with Diet Coke. And you're going to be kind of okay with her mixing it with Diet Coke. So this is a bourbon that, you know, it's a cheap mixer. But I think that a cheap mixer still has to be a good bourbon. It's got to taste good because mm -hmm. it is a cheap mixer and you want something that tastes good in your bourbon. So a cheap mixer, that something that you're going to give to your guest and something that you're going to, you know, still appreciate. Okay. So what do you got? So for mine, I'm going Benchmark Full Proof. I think that Benchmark Full Proof, 125 proof bourbon. And when you're mixing this with something, <laughs> you're still getting some bite to it. Um, and not only that, this actually tastes damn good. Pretty it's good. amazing. It's pretty you good. Know, people say redheaded stepchild of Buffalo Trace, but I'm gonna tell you right now, this is it's not at all. Um, this is twenty about twenty three dollars, twenty four dollars on the higher end here in our area in Texas. Um, so it's still cheap enough that if you're gonna mix it with something, it's still good. Got a great flavor. So what is yours? Mine is. Jack Daniels. <laughs> oh, 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 the classic. Now, I can honestly say I don't really drink Jack Daniels straight or on the rocks, but this is my actual all-time favorite mixer. I used to, back in the day when I was a little girl. A little girl. Little Just girl, a tiny little girl. My dad used to drink Jack and Sevens, oh, and yeah. I used to steal a little sip out of there every now and then. So Ooh. this is like tasting memories for me, and I actually do. Whenever, it, you know, it gets hot here in the summer, sometimes and you don't feel like a, you know, hot shot of bourbon. Um, so sometimes you just need something cold with ice that you can chug, and 
Jack and Ginger. That's that's my. And I will tell you, Jack. That's my mixer. Jack and Ginger is absolutely amazing. <laughs> like we go out to and the, the summer, pool. It's so refreshing. We'll make up some Jack and Gingers, and it is. If you've never tried Jack and Ginger, I'm gonna tell you, you should you should give it a whirl because it's good. So I mean, yeah, it's. Yeah, ja forget the cola, the seven. My dad yeah. drank it, but whatever. Yeah. Um, ginger, Jack and Ginger. Jack and Ginger. That. So that is your, <laughs> and, and that's a great choice because that is the one you use for yeah. mixing. And you know, Jack, you can get it everywhere it's about what 22 dollars yeah. for some 50 no, something I mean, like that at 25. Very yeah so jack good old jack all right so the next category is something great this is your friday night pour it's something that you absolutely love i mean you would drink this all the time if it just was not at the price point that it was at. Or if it was more available. Or more available, yes, exactly. So let's go with yours. What is your Friday night pour? Something amazing. So, <laughs> the Elijah Barrel Proof. The Elijah. So this is the one that started it all off for me as far as the higher proof mm -hmm. um, bourbons. Because before then, we were drinking them on the rocks. Yep. We were drinking them usually about 90 to 100 proof i thought 100 proof was high at that point but i tasted this mm. one and it just blew my mind and i still love yeah, it it's, it's always going to have that special place in my heart i'm afraid <laughs> to put it in a blind up against all my others because i'm afraid I, it i won't yeah. choose it but um yeah this is this is i mean uh, elijah bear proof is just the hands down it's an i mean elijah period is a great bourbon mm -hmm. you add the barrel proof in that extra proof that comes with it i mean it's a pretty much a 12 year old bourbon so it's absolutely freaking amazing yeah so although i have noticed the difference and i think before this one we finished the b the, yeah batch, batch. B. this is the a and i think it's not quite as good as the b that we had yeah. so so but they're That's all good. Great. They're still all great, equally though. good. So yeah, great pour, great pour. Mm -hmm. All right, so my Friday night, my something great that I would choose is Rare Breed. This has, I mean, you can see, maybe I'm drinking this more than Friday <laughs> night, I don't know. Probably am, just saying. In our area, this is about a $45 bottle. 45, 46, somewhere right in there. Although it's been increasingly hard to find. It used to be on the shelf all the time. Everywhere. And so now here in, uh, we're in, we're in North Dallas area and I will tell you, it's getting harder to find. And so now when I do find it, I try to pick up a second dairy or a third dairy or fifth dairy mm -hmm. bottle of it. But this is definitely my enjoyable bottle that I like to sit down when I want something a little bit of step above my daily pour. I will, I will pour a glass of this. And I, I know even for you, when I pour this, you're like, take a sip and you're like, because I always, it's with good. her, most of the time I don't good. let her see what I'm pouring. <laughs> and so then she'll look at me. She's like, what's this one? And I, and, and you know, at that point, I try she, to guess, but I never get like, it right. You know, at that point, just that look like she knows it's a step above a little bit what we've been drinking, kind of the same way when we do this one. It's, um, yeah, but this right now, I mean, Rare Breed to me is a bourbon that's really hard to beat, and I hate that it's starting to become harder to find. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So listen, don't go buy Rare Breed. Just saying. Leave it for us. <laughs> yeah. You, you guys probably will not like this bottle, so... <laughs> You know, if you're watching you the video, this you is will. not your Friday night pour. This is that bottle you overlook on the shelf and you don't buy because we don't want this one to become allocated. If you live in North Dallas. Yeah, just leave but it. But it's got to be drink enough to keep demand up, yeah, just, which it's Just excellent. leave it, guys. Just leave <laughs> it. Just saying. So our final category of the day is that bottle that you're saving for a special occasion that bottle that you're like it's going to be good it's going to be all right and i'm saving it for a special day i'll go first on this one now my favorite or my i can't say my favorite yet my bottle that i am definitely saving for a special <laughs> occasion for me is and it's unopened it's e.h taylor single barrel it's in here somewhere now i will tell you we have probably 
I don't know, we got four or five bottles of the small batch. Absolutely love the small batch. Just ran it through a blind. It did amazing through the blind. Mm -hmm. And so I can only imagine the single barrel, what this one is going to taste like. And I'm definitely saving this for a special occasion. And you know, we have a special occasion coming up. We do. <laughs> you know, some here, somewhere in just the near little future, there's a special occasion. And maybe on that day, this might be a maybe, bottle that we, maybe. instead of doing the old champagne tour, I maybe we'll know. do the old Glen Karen pour. Something like that, you that know. That sounds good. But yeah, so E.H. Taylor single barrel. This one, we it we don't see this often in our area as a single barrel. No. We can find the small batch, but. I think I actually bought that one online. You did, and you bought this one for my birthday. About two years ago. About two years ago, and I have been setting on <laughs> so, it. Saving. We're definitely saving So when it. I'm telling you, I'm saving this for a special day. I do have a special day coming up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. All right, April, what okay. is your bottle that you're saving for a special day? So mine is the Booker's. And I guess I picked this one because we've had this one almost two years and there's a little bit of dust there on the top of it. There is dust on the top of that one. That's and we haven't touched it. And I don't know why. Matilda needs to get on the top of this. But we Matilda's haven't. Matilda's our vacuum cleaner, y'all. Our vacuum cleaner. Um, I don't know why we haven't pulled the trigger on this and tried it. We actually picked up another one of these since then. And we haven't drank that one either. We have not either. opened any of them. I don't know why. We're saving this one. But, but we always said we're saving it for saving. a special occasion. <laughs> we did say that. So, but if we had already tapped into this, I might actually pick the E.H. Taylor too, because I actually with the E.H. Taylor, I have something to somewhat compare it to yeah, with- because of that. Yeah. Of the small batch. With yeah. the small batch, which we love. So I figure the single barrel will probably really love. This one, I don't know if I'll love it or not, but I'm saving it for a but, special occasion. And, and I don't know why. <laughs> soon we're gonna pop the top on it too. We will. Yeah. And we will do a review when we do. All right. So here's the thing. This is our five bottles that if we could only have five out of our collection that we would choose, we would like to know what your five bottles are. So in the comments below, if you can do your one, two, three, four, five, let us know what five bottles you could choose. Till then, guys, let's go out. We're going to hunt down one more bottle.